Welcome back. You're watching Dukoscopy TV. I have Dominique Show, CEO of Feminons, in the studio to have a look at the world of female investors. Welcome today. Thank you. <laughs> so why did you decide to set up Feminons? Did you feel there was a gap in the market and a need to focus on women? When I decided to found Feminons in 2006, uh, I realized that many women are more and more independent. Sometimes because they choose that by the high level of professional. Sometimes uh, because uh, sad circumstances of their life put them to become independent, divorce, <laughs> widowhood. So at this time, they were in lots of trouble. And so they have um, uh, at least and above all to, to treat uh, money question. And it was a big a problem for them and uh, they were anxious so i would like uh, i would uh, i wanted to to um, create for them a space where they could feel um, secure mm -hmm. uh, have a transparent solution and uh, uh, a better listening and what is the difference between managing the finances of men and women what do you need to focus on more um, of course, there is no difference. Uh, there is not a finance for men and a finance for men. Of course, the market has a market, mm -hmm. and uh, there is no um, gender consideration with that. But the weightings and the approach of the female of, of, of a female finance are different. F women don't doesn't don't like risk and speculation. They they want a more simply management. They want to be understand. Then one. They want. They don't want interest conflict, and so um, they 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 have a, a lack of understanding, and with uh, about from their uh, advisor. So um, many studies, uh, especially one of uh, BCG Boston uh, Consulting Group, have um, uh, they have made a survey uh, among one thousand two hundred women. Uh, in 21 countries, and uh, seven more than 70 percent of women are di uh, disappointed and uh, dissatisfied with their financial advisor <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and and with uh, with the product, uh, the fin financial product offering. So uh, it's a it's a real need. It's a real need to 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 give women what they need, what they want, and uh, a talk woman to woman uh, is more open, more direct, direct, and so they it gives them the, the possibility to to explain what they need really and. We have the same life experience, and so we can give them better solution. And we are seeing more women in the world of finance. So, what are the main challenges facing women in this sector? Yes, mm, you know, <laughs> you know the, the the joke of Christine Lagarde, who <laughs> would tell uh, uh, if Lehman Brothers <laughs> was Lehman's sister, mm -hmm. the today crisis <laughs> would uh, would have an, uh, a look uh, quite different. So, and you know, women are, are, are often uh, when when they are called to action, it's because they are more pragmatic and and, and have a better sense of responsibilities. You can see that with the um, Icelandic crisis. Citizens have chosen a woman prime minister as prime minister during this crisis. So uh, I think the challenge of the fam of the woman uh, in for uh, for in the financial era is to 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 make it more with more humanity and understanding always <laughs> and and and. and and to and to reach to reach more the reality of the economy. And speaking about successful women in the world of finance, we are seeing more and more wealthy women. So, what does this mean for the world of finance and for the world in general? Um, of course, women women in all over the, all over the world are empowering. Um, in some figure, uh, especially in emerging in emerging country, because. Um, uh, with a strong growth, they have more opportunity and they work a lot, and so they have they become self-employed more easily. And, and so, uh, in some finger, in some figure, you have um, uh, you get one hundred billion dollars are sleeping on Middle East women account, waiting for secure and trusty investment. 
um, the um, earning generated by women all over the world uh, represents 15 trillion dollars. So, and uh, in China, in, two in, ta in 2025, 70% of billionaires would be women. And uh, above all, uh, now, 40 women billionaires in the world, seven, seven of them are Chinese. So when you, are, you had all this figure, I think women merit to deserve, deserve the best, the best <laughs> attention. Thank you very much, Dominique. Uh, you're welcome, and it was a great pleasure to be with you now. <laughs> and thank you for watching Duke Ascarby TV. Do stay tuned as we have plenty more coming up. See you soon. <laughs>